I'm Kimberly. I'm Brad. And we are Midlife, Midlife Crazy. Crazy. Dun, da, da. Our intro's going. Da, da, la, la. Hey guys, hey cruisers, hey crew. Um, it's Kimberly and Brad, and we are back from our vacation. Um, we got back two weeks ago today. And Bradford, why don't you let them know why we haven't put anything up on YouTube yet? So we got back and uh, both got pretty sick. So yeah. there was something going around the cruise ship while we were on it, some sort of respiratory thing, and we were all thankful that we didn't. We get got it. off the ship. We're but, like, oh, yeah, we didn't get it. <laughs> no then, cruise crud for us. And then, like two days after we got back, we both got it, and it's it's still hanging on almost Actually, two weeks later. When we got back, I was feeling a little stuffy, but I was I thought, oh, it's just a little bit. I'm not going to get it bad because I was fine for like a whole week. I went to work and then you got really sick. Yeah. And then you had to go out of town after being on antibiotics and feeling better. And then it hit me. So I, I feel like I almost got a double whammy. Yeah, Almost. so still, even two weeks later, um, we're still, we're still not, stuffed up. Still not like 100%. And then, but I feel remarkably better than yeah, I did. So, so we, we were, I had a Facebook group that you were on for the cruise, and yeah. all you see on the Facebook group for the last two weeks is everybody's sick. So Some people really, really, really sick. Really sick, like hospitalization yeah, sick. Yeah, so, so um, no. Thank no goodness bueno. that wasn't, wasn't us. So that is the reason that we have not posted any um videos yet because quite honestly we were sick and then i had to go out of town for work yeah. and so life <laughs> life back to normal as soon as uh, as soon as we got and, back so, and nothing stinks worse than having to travel when you're not feeling well yeah it wasn't fun no it wasn't fun so um we just wanted to check in with you guys to we let, haven't forgot about you yeah like, you know we haven't forgot about you um I am hoping to start editing this week and, okay. and hopefully have a video up by next weekend. Um, what we're also hoping to do next weekend is kind of uh, record a recap like a, of the cruise. Like know. our top five moments and our, our favorite and our least favorites. Yeah. Kind of, kind of stuff like that, stuff that and we liked that we didn't like. Keep in mind, you know, everything is subjective um, for the individual. Um, whereas we may not have liked certain things, other people may have loved them. And it's just from our point of view, our vantage point of view. So that's all I want to say in regards to that. I'm not bashing anything. We're just for us, these were certain things that we liked or these are certain things that we didn't like. So, yeah, so other people might have liked things that we didn't partic yeah. particularly care for. So it's just our point of view. and. Um, it's certainly not the gospel by no. by any means. So, but I can tell you, we had a fabulous time. I learned several very valuable lessons really? on this trip. Yes, I did. What was one of them? Well, let's let's save that for our video. But, but just give them a hint. Well, I I have learned that I can't pack as much. <laughs> So, um, being that we were two weeks and we were traveling via plane and having to roll all of that stuff and be responsible for all of that luggage, I have had some come to Jesus moments and said, well, I, I'm not offending anybody, but um, I have really had a moment to say to myself, is it really worth it, Kimberly, really? And then recognizing what I would grab while I was on the cruise, like what was comfortable and what I wanted to wear and what was what I would grab. Um, yeah, it really was an eye opener. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure I'd like to lounge around in my loungewear all day, but I'm not going to do that. But um, being comfortable is paramount, I think. Um, and our next cruise is only seven days. Not only, but it's seven days. It's not 14, so... And we don't have to fly anywhere. Which no. Is, which so is we are... So our challenge for our next one, which is in 200 and... How many days? 209 days, but who's counting? <laughs> you are. <laughs> 209 days. And our challenge is to go with one suitcase. That's our challenge, is to only go with one suitcase uh, a, pe a piece. A let piece. Me, let me... Yeah, sorry. So, or... or or perhaps one big suitcase and, and a one, little one and, and a garment bag or something something yeah. like that but it's, really it's only um to bring two suitcases total and the camera equipment which and, is a whole nother thing but. right and i say this now no formal night unless for some reason i find the holy grail of dresses, dresses and we're doing it again but um i'm not looking 
for anything for this next cruise because there are things I didn't even get to take or things that I didn't even wear that I will bring on our next one. Yeah. So, and our next one's going to be a little different. It's in Mexico. It's in May, so it might be a little bit colder, you think? I don't think so. No? It won't be cold okay. when we get to Mexico. Maybe when we leave, it'll, be, leave, cooler. it'll be cooler. In May, but May in L.A. can be... May in L.A. can be 90 or May in L.A. can be 65. So yeah. it's, there's no... It's uh, it, it's it's really weird. We don't get a consistent uh, temperature. Uh, consistent temperature in May. Sometimes it's really warm. Sometimes it can still. Uh, yes, and that's our anniversary our cruise. So that'll be really exciting. Um, so we've got a lot coming up. You know, everyone's got the holidays coming up. So bear with us. Um, we did have a little bit of technical difficulties the first day. Oh yes, yes. First so day. so just just to give you the heads up on the uh, the first probably couple of videos that are going to come out. There's going to be sporadic um, sound sound as yeah. far as the actual sound is recorded. We had some technical difficulties with the microphone um, mm -hmm. and didn't really. <clears throat> realized we were having the technical difficulties until the second day so pretty much you know second day after the second day all the audio the stuff that you'll need to hear is there so for the first couple days you'll see nice video and nice pictures um, set to um, some lovely music well also what's nice is we've we've also um, have now managed to take care of your taping um, oh, cumbersome taping yes, issue. Yes, so, um, yes, spoiler yes. alert: Bradford got a new um, vlogging camera while we were on our trip this time. So, and I'm really, really, really excited about it. So, really everything excited. we were shooting was on a GoPro. Yeah. Before, and um, the GoPro is great for action and underwater and stuff. But uh, we were in. Uh, well, we're you had it on that gimbal, and you kept having to undo it to turn it on or yeah, turn it, it off, it and was, it was a little cumbersome. It was very so, cumbersome. So, so um, I think now with the new vlogging camera, which is the Canon M50. The Canon M50, yeah. and it is. We got a great deal on St. Martin. Yeah, for, a great deal on St. Martin. Phenomenal camera, by the yeah. way. Phenomenal. So, camera. hey, um, it was just a check in to say hi. We're still here. We are thinking about you. You. Um, bear with us. We're recovering. Um, we've got some great content coming out. Um, we've got like so much to share about our, our cruise and maybe we'll do, we'll post the first day and then we'll do like a recap. Do you want to do it that way where we post a video and then we do a recap? Why don't you tell us if you like that? Like we'll post the video and then the next video will be us talking about that and recapping the things that we liked or didn't like. Or... Didn't we do pillow talk? We did do pillow talk. So yeah. I don't, but maybe, I, this maybe is... the, maybe the first video recaps. I'm not sure if the pillow voice. talk, if the audio is actually on pillow talk yeah. or not. Or so. we can wait till the series is over and then talk and then, to you and, more and then recap it. So, cause, cause there's a lot of lessons. I there. recorded Lots. about 20 hours of video, which obviously we can't present right. 20 hours of video. We, so there's a lot of editing to do and cause I film pretty much everything. And then I just take bits and pieces from it. So, so um, like the water slide. Yeah, I know. So um, a, a shout out to a couple of vloggers who've been really supportive of our channel and, and have talked to us and reached out to us. So first um, shout out is to D and J from Paro DJ. Very sweet, nice people. Hey guys, I'm watching your um, videos right now, so loving they were, it. They were on the cruise. They were yeah. on the cruise with us. We got so to meet. We got to meet, hey meet D, up with by them. the way, you look fabulous in Kelly Green. That is your color, by the way. Green's your color. Um, just in case you wanted to know. But um, uh, when I first saw her um, on the aft with Jay, she was wearing this uh, Kelly Green off the shoulder top, and it just was spot on looked really good on it and they're really tall very tall so if you watch very their tall. videos they don't look that tall on no, tv they're very tall <laughs> but they're both of them are are they're like very really sweet tall. people yeah. very nice people yeah. um we didn't get to see them too much through the cruise um but a couple times a couple of times we did see them also um a shout out to um favor fenwick at this our fenwick life um, she's liking our channel and she's been super sweet and commenting. Commenting so on our channel. I really our appreciate that. Our Instagram. Yeah. So. I really appreciate um, people helping bloggers, other established bloggers helping new bloggers out. Um, just liking and sharing and, you know, getting out there. We really appreciate that. Um, we also love the fact that we've got new subscribers. Um, we left at, what, 41 and now we're at 56? 
Yeah, so slowly so, but surely. Yeah, that's cool. So, you know, because when we started this, it was just kind of for fun. And um, the fact that 56 people have taken the time to... Hey, I want to see more of you to, guys. To say I want to see more of you guys is is, is pretty cool. Um, it was never about, you know, getting a million subscribers or anything. It's just about... Um, and, you know, we're new at this too. Yeah, it's so just, you know... We're, we were, we're, we've got trials and tribulations. We're learning what works, what doesn't work, what, you know, what tricks to trade. Always check your your uh, sound, oh, uh, you know, oh, things oh, like that, things you don't even think, you just hit the button and go, that's me, I'm a hit a button and go kind of person. Um, Brad's a little more, but he had so much to do with the, with the video, I mean, he was fabulous with it. The one time, this is kind of funny, I'm going to share this, the one time that I was in charge of videoing something, Brad showed me what to do, and it was him going on the ropes course. And I, here I am, and I've got the GoPro, and I'm up in the air, and I'm following him, and I'm doing the whole thing. And he gets down, and he takes the GoPro. I don't think you had the GoPro, actually. You had the... The camera? The no, ca I had the GoPro. I had the GoPro. You did? Yeah, it was the GoPro. I'm pretty sure. Well, regardless. It was one of the cameras. One of the, the videoing devices. I think it was the M50, because okay, I had the GoPro be. on my head. Oh, okay. Well, we had two. So, But anyway... Um, so he gets done, he comes down, he goes, oh, I did that, did you get it? And I'm like, yeah, I followed you the whole way. And he looks, I didn't get it. I, hit, forgot, I forgot to, to, to hit the, the record button. button. There were two buttons to push, and I only pushed one. See, I'm a push it and go kind of person, so I'm really sorry. So we do have video of the ropes course, but just from uh, your perspective, from a, not PO, the from a POV on my head. So. I'm sorry, but you know, in the next ropes course you do, um, I'm sure there'll be another one. Is there going to be another ropes course? I don't know, maybe. We're going to go on that. At my drama. age, at my age, the ropes <laughs> <You're not> course. <laughs> you know, what was the drink on the Alchemy Bar? 40s the new 20, 40s so 50s the, the, the new 30. You're not yeah, old. You're yeah. 30. So you'll, you'll hear us. Um, you'll hear us talk a lot about the Alchemy Bar. Oh yeah, so, fabulous. Anyway, we don't so want, we, we don't have give it away. like yeah. So it, it was a fabulous, um, t very exhausting. Um, I think very exhausting. It was. Um, 14 days on a ship, seven ports. I thought ports. it was me, but when he said, no, yeah, Kimberly, I'm 14 exhausted days on too. a ship like, with seven Thank ports. God, because I thought it was me. <laughs> and it was extremely, extremely humid. Oh, yeah. Extremely And that'll, humid. that'll zap you really good. That so, will, the humidity will zap you pretty good. I, I've been um, there many times to the Caribbean, and I don't know that I felt the humidity quite, yeah. quite as bad as it was. We should have known we got to Galveston, and there was just condensation all over the windows that it was, it was going to be a humid trip. Um, I was telling Brad that, um, I was telling work, uh, I was telling my husband, I was telling, I was speaking to people at work about our trip and I, and I was telling them how exhausted and they're like, you want a vacation and you're exhausted. And I compared it to your home. You get up and you want to go get a cup of coffee in your kitchen. You walk down the hallway. Well, if you want to get up and go get a cup of coffee, you could do a couple of things. You can have room service, which wakes you up. Or you can go down about a football field and go get a cup of coffee and come back. So anywhere you had to go, it was at least a half a football field to a football field away. So having to do that consistently over 14 days, it's like... And we drank a lot of coffee. Yeah, we did. We were at that coffee bar. We'll talk about the coffee bar too. Yeah. Um, the free coffee is okay in a pinch, but uh, the coffee bar was really good. Really good. So um, anyway, we're not giving too much away. We, we've got so much to talk about, but... Um, we just wanted to check in and make sure that... Uh, say hi! Uh, you know, <laughs> We're alive! We didn't forget about everybody. Um, it's just that, uh, you know, life happens when you get back from vacation. Hey, maybe on this video you could share some of the pictures at the end that we took on the ship. Oh, yeah, maybe. We have a flash drive. We I, we bought the flash drive of the pictures. Oh, that, those. Oh, yeah, so I'll, <laughs> I'll throw... Uh, Excuse me. I don't know, there's five or six pictures. Just pictures that we actually took on the ship, like professional yeah. type pictures. I'll Some throw them at the end. One of them's kind of funny. I hope everybody has a really good sense of humor because it is totally in jest. I don't want anybody to get offended by it, but it's... Because there were some people that thought we were crazy when yeah. we were taking it. They looked at us like... And it, it was totally a joke and, and not, nothing serious. And it was kind of an inside joke. So I, you may not get it, but I think it's kind of fun. Who hasn't wanted to throw their wife off a ship? <laughs> You do not want to. <laughs> so he just gave it away. So, But whatever. It's fun and we're crazy and that's what our channel is about us and about how crazy we are. So there we go. That's and right. then um, another one you'll see me carrying around a big old pitcher of margaritas. 
Why buy a glass when you can buy a pitcher? He, the bartender told me it was cheaper to just buy the pitcher than to come back for two more. And so I, I had to agree. And it was the first, we just got on, it was an embarkation day. And I, it was hot. So I'm like, sure, let's do it. So that was great. That was fun. So we had a good time. So anyway, we'll share that with you. And until we can, until next weekend, right? Next weekend. Next weekend. And then yep. we'll have our, our vlogs up. And I don't know what your schedule will be like to getting them up. Will they be on every weekend? Or will you try to do it like every couple of days? I'm going to try to do it every couple of days. It's just schedule. going to, my work schedule is um, really um, fluid right now, to say the least. We're going through a lot of um, personnel changes and moving moving parts and things moving around. Yeah, so, you moving. Yeah, me, <laughs> me moving to a new position. And so basically what I have to do is try to um, find my replacement to take my spot. So, so do you think your wife should learn how to edit? See, he won't let me edit. That's okay. Because I'm a push it and go kind of person. He was not going to let me edit. I get to say what's how the content looks, though. I get final say. Yeah. She's the boss. That's right. Don't you forget it. Come on, no. men. men. We all know who the boss is. We like to act like the boss. But we know who the real boss is. Nah. You're sweet, sweetheart. <laughs> so look at I'm all unshaven too. Yeah, Sorry. I let him grow a goatee while we're on the ship. But I'm all unshaven today. Sorry, today is officially no shave Sunday. Uh, we're just we're just slowly getting back in the, in the into the swing of things. In Two fact, weeks later. we just put away our dry cleaning from the trip, which is not all put away, and we taped a stitch fix, and I'm still all stuffed up. Nah, go bit. away. So now anyway. we've we've rambled on for 18 and a half minutes. So. That is you know what they say, YouTube, it needs to only be like seven minutes. Yeah. You know, right? so. well, we're never going to be seven minutes. We're never going to be so. seven minutes, ever. So. That's just us. So. Um. Anyway, we will check. Oh, hey, real quick. Real, I want to give a big shout out to Brittany and, and um, Dre. Dre. It was such a pleasure meeting you both. You're very sweet people. We enjoyed you immensely. I want to give a shout out to Melissa, who was on the ship behind us. Um, the Royal Caribbean, what was it? The Freedom of the Seas. Liberty. Liberty, Liberty of the, of the seas. seas. Melissa, hey. Um, so. Um, also to our, our uh, folks that were next to us. Oh, 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 oh. The Hunts. Um, oh, the I Hunts. Sheila. 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 She's a firefighter. Yeah, Sheila and Craig. Craig's a firefighter too, right? Yep. Uh, in Oklahoma? Yeah, so they were next to us. Um, Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Yeah, they were next <laughs> to us in the cabin next to us, so we... We had some fun with them. We would uh, every sail away, we were out on our balconies yes. and uh, oh, watching for pier runners. <laughs> oh, we'll tell you that story. There was, yeah, that was fun. We'll tell you that yeah. story in, in, in our wrap up, our, uh, our wrap up video. Yeah. So All anyway, right. I'm pooped. I'm tired. I'm still recovering. I'm not a hundred percent yet, and I gotta make spaghetti and meatballs tonight. Yeah, I know. Lucky you. Mm. So, what all are right. you gonna cook? You haven't cooked in a month. I'll make spaghetti and meatballs tonight. No, that's okay. Uh, see, I see. Yeah, hey, okay, I yeah, tried. you know what? Why don't you cook? I tried. Yeah, I'll let you cook. All right, I'll make spaghetti. He's gonna make, or, or pasta and meatball, whatever you wanna do. Okay. I'm gonna let him cook. All right, I'm cooking. Thank you, sweetheart. As long as I can watch the football game. Sure, you can watch whatever you want. Right. Go Cowboys! Anyway, we're just rambling at this point. We are. Okay, let's close it out. So, until our next video and then next time, um, have a great week. One. Just have a great what? week. What? What am I doing? No. I'm Kimberly. <laughs> I'm Brad. And, and we, we are, are definitely midlife, midlife crazy. crazy. Bye, guys. Bye.